In this tutorial video, we're going to be having a look at transformations of functions. So before we have a go to question, let's have a quick tutorial on the different types of transformations that exist. So the types of transformation that we're going to encounter at A level, first one is a translation. And that's achieved by adding or taking a number from a function, adding or taking. There's a stretch. Which is achieved by multiplying or dividing by a number. And then there's a reflection. Which is achieved by attaching a minus sign. To a function. But in addition to this, there's two different ways that these transformations can be applied. They can be applied outside. A function. And when applied outside of a function, this transformation does what it says to y values. Inside, if the transformation is applied inside, it does the opposite to x values. So in the context of this question here, we'll have a look at what that actually means. So the question says, the function y equals f of x is transformed in order to obtain the following functions. Describe fully each transformation. So part one, y equals f of x plus k. I can see that we've added k, which makes it a translation. And in an exam, that word is worth one mark. And this has been applied inside the bracket. We've added k inside the bracket. So it does the opposite of what it says to the x values. So instead of adding k to all the x values, we're going to take k away. And it does nothing to the y values. And there's your second mark. Part 2. f of x plus k. Again, we've added something. So it's a translation. One mark. And now the k has been added outside of the bracket, so it does what it says to the y value. So it doesn't do anything to x, and it adds k to the y value. Another mark. Part 3. We've multiplied by k. So this one's a stretch, a multiplication, a stretch. by scale factor. Now looking at this, we've times by k on the outside of the bracket. It's outside of the function. Therefore, it does what it says to the y values. So scale factor k, we're going to times all the y values by k. Parallel to the y-axis. And this is the wording that needs to be used to get the marks. So stretch is one mark. Then another mark for by scale factor k parallel to the y-axis. Part 4. f of kx. Well, we'll multiply by k again. So that's a stretch. By scale factor. Now this has been done on the inside. So it does the opposite. So instead of timesing by k. We're going to actually divide all of the x values by k. Stretch by scale factor 1 over k, timesing by 1 over k, or dividing by k is the opposite of timesing by k. Parallel to the x-axis. Part 5, f of minus x, where well, we've attached a minus on the inside so attaching a minus is a reflection, also known as a stretch by scale factor minus 1. However, reflection is the preferred notation, is the preferred terminology. So reflection. Now this has happened in the inside of the bracket. So it's been reflected in the x direction inside. However, the mirror line, we do a quick sketch here, the mirror line for reflection in the x direction 
i.e. going from there, reflecting it to there. The mirror line is the y-axis, so reflection, one mark, in y-axis. The y-axis is the mirror line for the x-direction. Then finally, part six, we've once again attached a minus this side on this time on the outside. So it's a reflection again. This time a reflection in the y-direction, which is a reflection in the x-axis. And that's how transformations work on the most basic level. For more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel or go to alevelmathsrevision.com.